from Bash TV Stages in Bordertown, Pennsylvania. Here come the newly daters. Yes, it's the newly dating game, and now let's meet our newly dating couples for today. Couple number one, dating for just two months, Katrina Wallace and Nick Kirsch. Couple number two, dating for just 18 months, Katie Swavely and Doug Hesper. And couple number three, dating for just two months, Kate Moser and Eric Gift. Those are our newly daters for today, and now here's the star of the newly dating game, Drew Hollenbach. now. Thank you very much and welcome to the Newly Dating Game. Three couples dating less than two years have come here to play our game. We hope you sit back and enjoy yourself over the next 20 minutes because you won't believe these questions. We'll be right back. Yeah, we'll be right back with them in just a minute of time. Gentlemen, your girlfriends have been secluded off stage and now we'll be asking you to predict what your girlfriends will say. For each question that you are able to match, you will see five points. And now for question number one, starting with my man Nick Kirch, which is part of couple number one. The first question, finish this sentence. If I were a prince charming and she was Cinderella, I would know exactly what size the glass slipper would be. That size would be. <laughs> I'm in trouble. <laughs> oh. Right now, probably crowd. A seven? Size seven? Yeah, we'll go seven. We're going with seven. All right. Going with Doug here, part second couple. Same question. Finish this sentence. If I were Princess Charming and she was Cinderella, I would know exactly what size glass slipper she would be. That size would be Doug. Uh, eight. Eight? <laughs> <laughs> size eight? That's a, that's a, is that girls or women's size? Women's. <laughs> I don't know. Isn't that the same? Yeah. No, they are not. Girls is a girl. Women is a woman. Yeah. <laughs> Couple number three, we got Eric. Finish his sentence. If I were Prince Charming and she was Cinderella, I would know exactly what size the glass slipper would be. That size would be Eric. Six. <sighs> size six. I don't know. Gentlemen, gentlemen, that's a rough question. But we're going to move right on to the next one. Question number two, starting with Doug. What do you say your girlfriend is? A, more flabby, B, more gabby, or C, or more crabby. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna have to go with uh, more Gabby just so I don't get in trouble for saying more crabby. Oh! 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 oh. 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 Good call, good call. Yeah! Eric, Eric, same question. What do you say your girlfriend is? More flabby, more Gabby, or more crabby? I'll have to play it safe, more Gabby. More Gabby, we got two more Gabbies. Yeah! yeah. Now, now, why exactly would you say she's more Gabby? Uh, well, she talks to her friends a lot more than me. Oh! <laughs> oh. Looks like we got some relationship problems already. Back to Nick Hirsch. What do you say your girlfriend is? Gabby. More flabby. That's, right? Oh, it's Gabby, yeah. I'll finish the question first. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> more flabby. More Gabby or more crabby? Could you repeat the answers? Flabby. <laughs> more Gabby or more crabby? Gabby. We got three Gabbies. Now, Nick, why is your girlfriend Gabby? 
Oh, she's always talking. That's what they all say. Question number three, and the final of these three questions for the men. Starting with Eric. Question number two, gentlemen, when you're alone, you like to call your girlfriend. What? What do you like to call your girlfriend when you're alone? Who wrote these questions? <laughs> uh, Kate. Look, like oh, Kate. <laughs> now, it doesn't sound very romantic. What well, it, uh, I'm not very uh, romantic. You're not very no. romantic? Kate's her right. name! <laughs> <laughs> they don't call Nick. anything else. You're done. Going back to Nick. Question number three. When you're alone, you like to call your girlfriend what? What do you like to call your girlfriend when you're alone? Uh, call her, um... And we're keeping it clean, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say she's awesome. <laughs> Audience, what do you have to say about that? What do you have to say about that? Awesome? A name? No. All right, you're definitely going to lose points in that one. <laughs> couple number two, well, half a couple number two. We got Doug, same question. When you're alone, you like to call your girlfriend what? Uh, when you, yeah, answer. Oh, now I get the question. Uh, uh, <laughs> cutie. I call her cutie. Cutie? I think yeah. that's a good answer. Oh. Oh. Cutie! <laughs> All right, gentlemen, thank you. We'll be right back to see how well you predicted what your girlfriends will say right after these messages. School store. School store. School store. School store. School store. School store. Pens and pencils, binders, t-shirts, and don't forget your fish, your best gym shorts. 1395. Pretzels, bottles, long sleeve shirts, and pick up some mechanical pencil refills. Just 75 cents. Come down and visit the school store. We are open right before homeroom. Also visit us after school. 2.45 until 3. Welcome back to the Newly Dating Game. We're so happy you could join us today. Gentlemen, we have recorded your answers. And you now have them flat on your laps. Each time that your prediction matches your girlfriend's answer, you will get five points. Coupled with the most points by the end of the show, we'll then get a special gift chosen especially for you. OK, ladies, here was your first question. We asked the men, if your boyfriend were Prince Charming and you were Cinderella, he would know exactly what size your glass slipper would be. Oh. <laughs> They'd be size what? Eight. Eight? Nine and a half. Oh, oh, nice. oh. oh. seven. Oh yeah. Now, Nick, you gotta, you gotta think. I don't like pick a ruler and measure. That would be wrong, <laughs> and you get no points. Doug, mind you not to flip over your card to your girlfriend gives her final answer. Nine and a half. Okay, I won't repeat the question. Nine and a half, what do you got, Doug? Eight. Oh! 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 Well, off on that one, buddy. <laughs> Kate, Kate, you think you're a little bigger than you really are? Oh Why do you think you have a nine and a half? Because that's the size of my shit. Oh, I think you're lying, you don't know. <laughs> Eric. Oh my God. And Kate. <laughs> the same question was asked to you. What was your response, Kate? Nine. Nine? Yeah! Six, oh, off yeah! by three. Yeah! Oh, no points across the board. We got zero, zero, and zero. Couple number two, Kate and Doug. The second question asked was, ladies, what would your boyfriend say you are? More flabby, more gabby, or more crabby? <laughs> uh, Answer Kate. 
talkative? You're not on. You're not there. <laughs> <laughs> um, more. Kate number two, I'm sorry. More Gabby. We got more Gabby! Yay! Five points to couple number two, Kate and Doug. Couple number three, Kate and Eric. Same question, more Flabby, more Gabby, or more Krabby. More Gabby. More Gabby! Yeah! Five, five. Couple number one, same question, more Flabby, more Gabby, or more Krabby. Gabby. Everyone gets five points! Yeah! Five points. Let me see here, question number three was, and now the last of the five points. Ladies, when you were alone, your boyfriend likes to call you what? What, what does your boyfriend like to call you when you're alone? Is the question. Starting over here with Kate and Eric. Kate? Yeah! yeah! There is a map. Oh, well, original! <laughs> Top of number one. Nick and Kate, same question. Oh, when you're yeah. alone, what does your boyfriend like to call you? Kate. Flip it up. I did not accept the call. Awesome. I was confused. Now. I thought you meant with my boys, not You're with him. Better try your boyfriend, next time. Does your boyfriend call you awesome a lot? Yeah. I think you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, couples, thank you. We're right back to see how well. Didn't. Last couple, guys. I don't think they should get points. <laughs> Kate and Doug. Um, cutie. Oh! Uh-oh, I think we're going to have a winner. We got five for the first couple, ten for the second and third couple. Those points are in the scorebook. All right, couples, thank you. We'll be right back. See how well the ladies can predict what their boyfriends say right after these messages. Welcome back to the newly dated game. Ladies, your boyfriends are now secluded off stage. Your turn to predict what they will say, and these are ten-point questions. So here is the first question. If you could send your boyfriend to a body repair shop, what would you have repaired? Starting with Kate number one. Your answer, please. Um, probably the keyhole on his dad's SUV. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you um? Did you not understand the question? What would you have repaired on Mr. Nick? At the Harvest Ball. Me. On Nick. Oh, on, on Nick? Nick. <laughs> on Nick. <laughs> nothing. She says nothing. We have a smart bunch here today. Kate, number two, same question. What would you repair? Um, well, he told me he doesn't like his lips. So, so you, you I like lips? them, but he doesn't. So. <laughs> now, how would you know if you liked his lips or not? Oh, he said that, like... Cool. Oh. <laughs> Kate, number three. Same question. What would you have repaired on your friend Eric? He doesn't like his flub in his stomach. Flub? Flub? Can we get a dictionary for flub, please? Flub. All right, those answers are recorded. Question number two. Quiet, please. Starting with Kate number two. If you could drink your boyfriend, what would he taste like? A. A. Diet soda, B, water, or C, Gatorade? Gatorade. Gatorade? We got Gatorade for Kate, number two. Kate, number three, same question. Water. Water. Kate, number one. <laughs> soda. Diet soda? Your yeah. choices are diet soda, water, or Gatorade? Soda. Diet soda. Yeah. <laughs> so you're saying your boyfriend's a little watered down? Oh! <laughs> Question number three, starting with Kate. Number three, of all the female actors out there, what would your boyfriend say is the sexiest? Female actors? Female actors. Or, uh, never mind. <laughs> I don't think he likes any, actually. Is that an option? You're going to say none? Yes. You're going to say none. All right, Kate, number one, same question. Is none? <sighs> you oh. Kate, number two. Sarah Michelle Gellar. Sarah Michelle Gellar. Hey, you're Number two. <laughs> and now, for the 25 point bonus question. Ladies, what is your boyfriend's favorite ice cream? Flavor. Starting with, let's start with Kate number one. 
Mm. I'm gonna go with chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. Kate number two. Vanilla. We have vanilla for Kate number two. Kate number three. What is your answer? Chocolate chip cookie dough. Ooh, yeah. Rough and rocky, eh? Ladies, thank you very much. We'll be right back with your boyfriends to compare answers on these questions. My batch clothes. I wear my batch clothes. In the middle of class. When I'm getting hurt. In my skirt. When I'm at my place with my crew. I like them white and new. My bash clothes. <laughs> Look for the bear. Without pants. When I dance. When I'm doing my own thing. When I'm representing my team. In my flat ride. When I'm walking outside. When I dress. To impress. When I want to look my best. Because I keep it real. I wear my best clothes. Welcome back, everybody. Score update for this evening. We got Kate and Nick with oh, five points. Yeah. Kate and Doug with 10. Woo. Tied with Kate and Eric with also 10 points. Woo. Gentlemen, let's see how well your girlfriends have predicted what you will say. Remember, these questions are now worth 10 points. These are the big guys. Do not flip your cards up till the answer is given. No cheating allowed. Question number one, starting with couple number one. Kate and Nick. Gentlemen, your girlfriend could send you to a body repair shop. What would she have repaired? Oh my God. Nick! <laughs> oh, man. I'll just go with my abs. Your abs? Flip up that card. Oh. Nothing. Oh, <laughs> Second couple, Kate and Doug. What would she have repaired? <laughs> uh, my lips, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> lips? Flip that one up. Lips! Yeah. Yeah. That boosts their score to 20 points. Couple number three, Kate and Eric. What would he have repaired? Probably my stomach. Yeah. Stomach stop! 5 20, 20. Kate and Nick, you're falling behind. You better pick up your game a little bit. Question number two. Starting with couple number two. Doug and Kate. Next question. Your boyfriend tastes like? If you would drink him, he would taste like? Diet soda, water, or Gatorade? <laughs> uh, Gatorade. <laughs> Gatorade! We're now up to 30 points. Kate and Eric to stay in the game. You gotta get this one right. Diet, soda, water, or Gatorade? Water. Water! H2O. Oh, yeah. Now, Nick. You're following a little line here, buddy. Let's catch up. Diet, soda, water, or Gatorade? Um, Gatorade. Diet soda. Oh. <laughs> Diet soda. Nick, you know what that means? That means you're watered down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Question number three, starting with Kate and Eric. It's the last of the ten point questions. Of all the female actors out there, who do you think is the sexist? Um. This could make or break the relationship. <laughs> Pamela Anderson. <laughs> I don't know. Pamela Anderson. We got nine. No. Oh. Now, Kate. Oh, man. Uh, what do you think about that? <laughs> Pamela Anderson. That's what I thought. <laughs> Couple number one. Sorry. Yeah, Nick. Which one do you think is the sexiest? <laughs> um, Britney Spears. <laughs> yeah. We predicted none. No points. No points across the board. We still got five, 30, and 30. Kate and Doug. Same question. Doug, who do you think is the sexiest? <laughs> Um, Sarah Michelle Gellar. Flip that card up. Sarah yeah. Michelle Gellar. And now, for just a little, little chance for Nick and Kate to come back, the 25 point bonus question. Starting with them since they have five points. <laughs> 25 point bonus question would be, what flavor of ice cream do you think your boyfriend is? Oh my. God. 
Vanilla. <laughs> chocolate! <laughs> that leaves you with five points. That's like totally opposite, you know that? Chocolate and vanilla and light and day. Uh, I'll say. Let's see, who would be up next? That would be... Let's go with Kate in there, because I don't know. Two. Couple, couple number two, Doug and Kate. That's what I said. That's what type of ice cream do you think Doug would be, or what would you say yourself is? Uh, chocolate? I don't know. Oh. Vanilla. <laughs> couple number three. You know what that means. Just for fun, what's your answer? Chocolate. Aye. Chocolate chip cookie dough. Welp, I'll tell you what. Um, Who won? Uh, Who's the winner? No. Let's go to the judges. No. Tiebreaker. Tiebreaker with 30 points. Who's the winner? Let's get the score update. Score update. Score woman. 540-30. That means our grand prize winners for today would be Doug and Kate. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> And now, Kate and Doug, here's a special prize chosen for you. Where's the prize at? Today's grand prize is a second date at Friendly's. Yes, you and your boyfriend won a $20 gift certificate at Friendly's Restaurant. Since 1935, Friendly's has been known for delicious ice cream treats. Rich, creamy, indulgent ice cream in all different flavors. Made by our very own ice cream experts. We're proud to be the good neighbor restaurant, neighborhood restaurant that you've come to depend on over the years. Good food. Famous ice cream shop treats, fair prices, and friendly service. Back to you, Drew. Kate and Doug, congratulations to you. Thanks to all the couples, and thanks to you. This is Drew Hama for the Game. See you next time. Bye-bye for now.